Breaking, my husband not cause of hardship, Tinobu's wife. Now to the news in full. Senator Luremi Tinobu has said her husband, President Bola Tinobu, should not be blamed for the current economic hardship in Nigeria. But he is the, gov he is the president who are we going to hold responsible? It is him now. He is the one that is, it is the, the ruler in the affairs of the state, in, of the country. So if everything is going way low, way low, he is the one that we are going to blame because he is the president. Who else do we blame? Who is the cause of the hardship? Nigerians have been groaning other economic hardships since the removal of soil subsidy, which pushed the pump price of petrol from 198 to 1,030 naira. You to you know, you to look at it now. Just in the space of one year, look at the amount of increase that the fuel has taken from 198 naira to 1,030 naira. And you say he is not the cause of the hardship. So who is the cause of the hardship? Tinubu announced an end of subsidy during his inaugural address on May 29, 2023, saying the policy was standing in the way of Nigeria's progress. Okay, so now that you have removed the subsidy and four prices is going up, are we still progressing as a country? No. But while speaking at the Palace of Oni of Ife, Obadeye Yokunwe, on Thursday, the First Lady said, the Tinubu administration is still very young. <clears throat> The wife of the president was in Ife to inaugurate hostel and a 2.7 km road donated to Obafemi Awolo Royal University, OAU Ileife, by the owner of Ife and named after her. She said, We are just two years into our administration. We are not the cause of the current situation. We are trying to fix it and secure the future. Why not look for a better way to, even if you are trying to fix it, try to look for a better way that will not really take a toll on, on the citizen. Try something more more reasonable, more feasible that Nigerians won't really face. We know that the, 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 the economy is really bad. Right from 2015, it, it has been bad. We know you are trying to fix it, but at least why not fix, try to fix it in a way that it will not really take its toll on Nigeria because it is, it is pressing our neck. It, the, the hardship is pressing our neck. It is getting too much. So it's getting out of hand from 198 naira to 1030 naira haba. It is too much. And yes, if you are doing something in the States, okay, you want to fix it. Why not carry us along? You don't carry us along. You just do things and just expect people to just move on with their lives like that. There's no accountability. You are not saying, oh, this is what and what we are doing. It's Nigeria, this is what we are going to do. This is going to be the effects. This is the time interval for this thing and all of that. Be accountable. Don't just think that oh Nigerians will adapt to anything. You just make something, you just make a decision and you expect it, people to follow through. It's not nice. It's, it's wrong. We know that subsidy has been removed, but we got on our side. In the next two years, Nigeria will be greater than this. Those who attempted removing subsidy before could not see it through. But with our prayers, in the next two years, we will build a nation for the future. See, yeah, we are used to all this promise and feel talk. So it, is, it will be hard for us to believe that, okay, after these two years, the next two years will be better. What if the next two years is still the same thing like now? So even be worse, maybe by that next two years, fuel will now be 5,000 naira. Who, who is going to be able to afford fuel at, at that point in time? Because there is no increase in anything. People that are in private sectors, they are not increasing their salary for, the, for their staff. Even the government, they are not increasing the minimum wage of their staff. So how do you expect people to cope? How? How do you expect us to cope? We know the country is bad. We know the economy has been bad before you people got there. But try to do something that will not really affect the citizens. That will not really show that, oh, there will be more subsidy or anything. Try, try, come up with something. Use all your sharp minds that you have there. Make suggestions. Ask people. Don't just think that, oh, you know it all. Ask for advice from young people. Young people, they, ha they have better advice. But ego will not allow them to listen. I hope they listen. Because things is, 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 is getting out of hand, really. It is getting out, hand, out of hand. The first lady who disclosed that she graduated from OAU 41 years ago 
donated 1 billion naira to the university for its development and advancement. Can you imagine that? Donating 1 billion naira to the university for development and advancement. Have we invested that same billion naira into our own country, into our own state? Not just for the university. What development again? What are they developing in, in OAE for year? There are so many other things to be developed. There are so many hospitals that are underdeveloped, that don't have the right equipment. There are so many roads that are bad, federal roads, that are really bad. Those are the things that you should be using money to do, not just going to, to donate money because, oh, they, they named a, a building after you, or they named something after you. No, no. There are so many better things to do with money. I'm not donating that kind of money. Even if you are going to donate some money, one billion naira to me, I think it's, it's too much to donate to a university. And you won't even know how the money will be spent now because no accountability. There is nothing they are telling the people of the citizens. Once the money goes, you just hear the money. It has gone. It has gone like that. Whether they implement it, whether they use the money for what they are supposed to use the money for, we do not know. While speaking, the only of if we allowed it the wife of the president for serving as role model to young ones since her days as first lady of Lagos State. Mm. The traditional ruler said, I have been a keen admirer of Senator Olure Mitsinobu as a young woman, as a young man, eking out a living in Lagos. One of my major attractions was the new era initiative, especially as it concerns the one day governor in Lagos that is totally detribalized and provided opportunities to young secondary school boys and girls to become governor in Lagos State. This has been a milestone and major inspiration for the younger ones to aspire and proper. But young ones that have been aspiring since, since how many years ago, do you allow them to take the position of power? No. You don't allow them. You say they don't have experience. They are too young. They are too this. You, you have more experience. You that you are 70 something years old, 80 something years old. What in innovative thinking do you have than a youth that is just coming up? No. You are not allowing the youth to, to take to take proper actions to, to rule our nations. You are saying they are, they, are, they are too young. And you keep telling us that we are the leader of tomorrow. When do we become the leaders of tomorrow? And you do something that makes secondary students to come and be governor of, of, of the day, be governor for one day, be president for one day. But yet, when it is time for these people to actually take the position, you don't allow them. You say they are too young. So what exactly is, is there to be a role model about? What exactly are they supposed to be happy about when at the end of the day, you don't allow them to be in the position of power? You claim they are too young. It is well low. I hope that Nigeria gets better. If your husband is fixing the country, let him do something more, more better. Let him look for another way to, to, to resolve this issue because this one that he is doing is killing the people. It is frustrating us. It is getting too much. Lives are getting hard. It is difficult to eat. It is difficult to, 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 to afford basic amenities. It is really difficult. Please find another way to fix the issue. My listeners, over to you. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Do not forget to like, to share, and to subscribe. Thank you for listening. See you some other time. Bye.